Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Engineering Network and welcome to a new video of ETH 2016 tutorial. In this particular training program, we are analyzing and designing a 5-story residential building and today we will be dealing with the most important and the most interesting phase while modeling a building in ETH which is how to analyze and design our model in ETH 2016. So before we start, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also click on this small bell icon so that you will get notified on time when I publish a new video. So without wasting your time, let's get started. Ok, so before we start, let's rewind what we have learned in this training program up till now. In the first part, we have briefly discussed the introduction of ETH 2016. In the second part, we have learned about how to define our own grid data. Then we have learned about how to define material properties and how to define the section properties for different structure members. And after that we assign beams, columns, slaves and shear wall. Then we learned about how to model the staircase in ETH 2016. And after that we assign the loads and the seismic load to all the structure members including the staircase as well. And now finally we are going to analyze and design our model. So before we run the analysis, you should make sure that our model is error free. You have to make sure that you did not have duplication of elements or loads and whether the section properties has been assigned in a proper way or not or whether there is any other issue with the meshing or not. So for that go to analyze and here select check model. And in this dialog box, make sure that you check all the boxes and then click on OK and wait for few seconds because it will take some time to check all the elements, loads and member sections. So as you can see that we have got a message and it says that model has been checked and no warning message was generated which means that our model is error free and there is no error in our model. So finally now we can go for the analysis. So for analysis go to analyze and here select run analysis. So right now it is are analyzing our model and it will take some time depending on how large the model is. So we have to wait for few seconds until the analysis is completed. So after the analysis the first thing that we have to do is to find the time period of our model. In the previous video where we assigned the seismic loads, we assigned certain parameters to calculate the time period of our model. So to calculate the time period, go to the show deform shape icon and click on it. So here in this dialog box of deform shape, select the mode option. In ETAPS, they have predefined 12 different mode cases which are from mode 1 to 12. So here we have to find the time period for each mode case from 1 to 12. So after selecting the mode, click on apply and then click on OK. So here you can see that for mode 1 the time period is 310.537 seconds. And if you want to find the time period for the next mode which is mode number 2, for that go to the right bottom and here you will find a double arrow. So click here on the next arrow. And now you can see for mode 2 the time period is 293.709 seconds. Similarly we can find out the time period for each mode cases from 1 to 12. And this is how you can find the time period for the model in ETABS. So after finding the time period, the next thing that I am going to discuss is the parameters and the factors which is required for the designing of the beams, columns and the footings. So first I would like to discuss the footing. In the case of footing, what we do is we have to go and select this icon which says display support and spring reactions. So here select the combo and in this drop down menu I select combo 1 which is the combination 1. And here select FZ which is the vertical reaction and then click on apply and then OK. So here as you can see the support reaction has been displayed here. If you want a better look on it, go to the plan view, select the base and then OK. 
so if you want to find each value just keep the cursor on the top of the support points as you can see the fz value at this point which is 97.371 cap and if you go to the next point you can see the fz value is 182.260 cap at that particular point and if you want to look a more detailed view just right click on the support point so as you can see the third point is the vertical reaction which is 182.260 cap next in the case of design of the beam we need to find out the bending moment and shear force so for that select the display frame icon and here i am selecting the envelope combination so here i need to find out the bending moment of the beam so i am selecting the moment 33 which is along the major direction and then click on apply and then okay so as you can see these are the bending moment diagrams which has been showed on each beam now go to the plan view and suppose we want to find out the bending moment diagrams of fourth story beams so here select fourth story and then click on okay so as you can see here the bending moment diagrams of fourth story beams and let's say i want to see the detail view of this particular beam so for that just right click on this beam so as you can see the moment m33 that has been showed here with the maximum moment of 578.956 cap inch and also the respective shear force of this particular beam as well which is 14.301 cap and if you want to find out the value of shear force and bending moment on any point select scroll for values option and here drag this line along the beam and as you can see the values of maximum and minimum bending moment and shear force varies next suppose you need to find out the axial force for the column so for that go to elevation view and here select a and then click on okay now again go to the display frame icon and here select the axial force and then select apply and then okay so as you can see the axial force of each column has been listed here let's say i want a detailed view of axial force of this column so for that right click on it and as you can see in this dialog box the axial force has been shown which has a maximum value of minus 16.407 cap so here we are done with the bending moment and shear force and also with the axial force next is how to design our building according to its predefined settings so for that go to design and here select concrete frame design and then select view revise preferences so in this dialog box i select the design code for concrete which is aci 31814 which is applicable in my country and it will produce the load combinations by default which are based on aci 31814 so close this window now again go to design and then concrete frame design and this time select start design or check so right now the software is checking for each element in our model and we have to wait for few seconds until the check is completed so now the design check is over so if you need to get the design values or the area of reinforcement in each elements for example in a column or in a beam suppose i want to start with a column so for that go to the elevation view and here click on okay So here as you can see these are the steel areas and let's say I want to see the detail view of this column so for that just right click on this particular column and here as you can see the section name and column type are mentioned here and also you can find the longitudinal reinforcement the major shear reinforcement and the minor shear reinforcement areas in inch square has been listed here and if you require the summary just click on the summary button so here you can see the summary of the particular column has been listed here you will find the section of the particular column and the material properties and much more and if you need the envelope here you can just click on the envelope button 
and as you can see the envelope details of the design of column has been listed here. Similarly you can do the same for the beam also. So for that go to plan view and here select 4th story and then ok. So let's say I want to see the detail view of this particular beam. So for that right click on it and here you can see in this dialog box this is the top steel, this is the bottom steel and this is the shear steel reinforcement area in inch square and if you just click on summary again then you will find the section of the beam, its section properties, material properties, its bending moment and shear force has been listed here for which the particular beam has been designed. And if you need the envelope you can do the same by clicking on it and here you will find the same things as well. So here we are done with the analysis and design of our model in e tapes 2016. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you would like it, if yes then please click on the like button, share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on this small bell icon because it will help you get notified on time when I publish a new video. So goodbye, see you in next video.